Only about 17% of the LGBTQ community is expected to vote for President Trump, which is why this Beverly Hills, California march is turning heads. USA! Trump is actually one of the most pro-LGBT presidents we've ever had. It's a message straight from the president's mouth. I am far better for women. I am far better for gays. Is this it? George Santos is campaigning for Congress in Long Island, New York. He's gay, Republican, and supporting the president. I think that this president has done more for the community than um, his predecessors. So I just want to read to you some of President Trump's policies. In 2017, Mr. Trump tried to roll back medical protection for the trans community. Also in 2017, endorsed the idea that employers had the right to discriminate against the LGBT community based on their religious and moral reasons. There are certain instances, like a few of the ones, of the ones that you mentioned, that we may have disagreements. I'm, I'm a strong believer of if you agree with somebody 70% you support them. This is ready. Look at this one. Aww. In Santos's Long Island district, voter Sarah Kate Ellis and her wife Kristen are parents to 11-year-old kids, Thomas and Kate. The record on Trump has been an abomination for the LGBTQ community. Ellis is the president of GLAD, a gay advocacy group that's been tracking LGBTQ rights under the president and Joe Biden. Whether that's kicking trans people out of the military or it's rhetoric saying that he thinks it's fine for businesses to discriminate against LGBTQ people. It should be within their right, is what he said. Former Vice President Joe Biden has not always supported gay marriage rights. Do you support gay marriage? No. That was 2008. Biden has long since reversed his position, and many in the gay community believe he is a bigger supporter than President Trump. Are you saying that marriage equality under the Trump administration is at risk here of being overturned. Marriage equality under the Trump administration is absolutely at risk. And that means more work for you. Yes, a lot of work. ISIS King knows firsthand how much work is ahead. For you to finally be able to come out as your true self. Yes. After struggling so long to be able to do so, mm -hmm. what was that like? It meant freedom. Oh, that's cool. King, once homeless, is now an actress living in Hollywood. I was physically born male, and now I live my life as a glamorous female. She recently starred as the transgender sister in the Netflix series about the Central Park Five called When They See Us. Do you feel seen in Washington? No. I'm a woman. I'm a black woman. I'm a trans black woman. Do I feel seen? Absolutely not. With Trump, King fears no job protection and violence against her community. I don't understand why we are that big of a threat. Is it because we have enough courage to be who we always felt like we wanted to be? For Santos, courage means being honest about his choice too. I think it's, it's, it's simple to see that people are starting to wake up and see this president isn't so bad. Rights are on the line no matter who wins. We are fighters. We have to. Our mere existence is a fight, and we will continue fighting. There's another one. And the next battle is coming. The day after the election, the Supreme Court is scheduled to hear arguments on whether religiously affiliated foster care agencies can reject same-sex couples. Still to come, our future, the next generation, and the power of youth.